Number 25. The average atomic masses of some elements may vary depending upon the sources of their ores. Naturally occurring boron consists of two isotopes with accurately known masses. Boron 10 is 10.0129 AMU, and boron 11 is 11.0931 AMU. And the actual atomic mass of boron can vary from 10.807 to 10.819, depending on whether the mineral source is from Turkey or the United States. Calculate the percent abundances leading to the two values of the average atomic masses of boron from these two countries. Okay, so it seems that we have two average atomic masses. We have two countries, Turkey and the United States. So this is technically two problems hidden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this right down the middle so that we can work on one at a time. All right, now let's first work on Turkey first because they said it first, they said Turkey or the United States. So I'm gonna put all my information on this side as far as Turkey. I'm gonna put all my information on this side as far as the United States. Okay, now here we still have two isotopes of boron. So for each one, Turkey and United States, there's two isotopes. We have boron 10 and we have boron 11. Now they tell us their masses, right? 10.0129 AMU and 11.0931 AMU. So that we know, I'm going to list that. 10.0129 AMU and 11.0931 AMU. All right. So they don't tell us the percentages, right? But that's what they want. They say calculate the percent abundances. So this is probably the hardest part of these types of questions. So just pay a little bit more attention. You got this. So we have to figure out what the percent abundances are, right? So I don't know what boron 10 percent abundancy is. So I'm just going to label this as X, right? X percent. Or we could just label it as X to leave it as the decimal percent. Now, do we know boron 11? Do we know boron 11's percent abundance? No, right? But can we say X? Not really, because if we say X, that means that they're the same number, right? That means that they would be the same. But do we know that boron 10% is the same as boron 11%? No, right? We don't know if it's 50-50. Heck, we don't even know if it's 60-40 or 70-30. So we can't say X and X. We can't even say X and 2X because we can't make that assumption either. But we also can't say X and Y because in algebra, we only have one variable that we solve, right? This isn't calculus. By the way, stay tuned for calculus. I think my brother is doing calculus, so that would be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, so we can't do two variables because we, we aren't in calculus, we're in algebra. So scratch that idea. So how are we going to get a variable for boron 11 in terms of X? Well, we think about a huge blob, right? And this is all of boron in nature, right? We'll just say all of boron. And it's split between the two isotopes, right? It's split between boron 10 and boron 11. Now, I don't know whether boron 10 is more or boron 11 is more. I just drew the line down. But here, we labeled boron 10 as X. Now, out of the whole thing, you have technically one whole boron species, right? So we could think of this as one whole piece. How are we going to talk about boron 11 in terms of X and one. Well, it would be the one whole thing minus the part, which is boron 10, one minus X. Now you could either do one minus X or you could do a hundred minus X. I personally like to do one minus X because then you won't have to worry about timesing back the X. I just like to do one minus X, I think it's easier. So for this, one will always be X. The other one will always be one minus X, all right? 
Does it matter which one you label one is X and one is X, one minus X? Absolutely not. But just make sure that that's the key that you guys are not missing. One is X, one is always one minus X. Okay. Now, Remember from before, from the question that we did before, what did we do with these two numbers? What did we always do with the isotopic mass and the percent abundance, right? The decimal percent abundance. We always multiply them, right? So you should still always multiply these. So if I took 10.0129 times x, it would just be 10.0129x. Now this one, it would be 11.0931 times 1 minus x. Now here's where your guys' algebra skills come into play. This is the distributive property. I have to multiply this whole thing by 1 and this whole thing by x. So this would really be 11.0931 minus, let me just put a 3 here, minus 11.0931x. Does everybody see that? And now, what did we do with these two values? Do you guys remember when we had to solve for an average abundance? We did this plus this, and it always equaled the average atomic mass. I'm just going to say AAM. And they told us what the average atomic masses were. 10.807 and 10.819, depending on whether you're from Turkey or the United States. The Turkey one is going to be the first one that they said, which was 10.807. I'll just put AMU here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up. So I'm going to say 10.0129x plus 11.0931 minus, because plus a minus is still a minus. So minus 11.0931x equals the average atomic mass for Turkey, which was 10.807. So which equals 10.807. And now you guys just got to solve for x. So what I would do is I would combine like terms here. First, I have 10.0129x and 11.0931x, so I would just combine them, and it is a negative 11.0931x, so just remember that. So when I do this math, I got 10.0129 minus 11.0931, good. So we got negative 1.0802x plus 11.0931 equals 10.807. Now this, I'm just going to just write this on the top here. So negative 1.0802x plus 11.0931 equals 10.807. So what are we going to do now? Get the x by itself, right? Minus 11.0931 minus 11.0931, this cancels out, negative 1.0802x equals 10.807 minus 11.0931, you get negative 0.2861, get x by itself, divide by negative 1.0802, negative 1.0802, and I'm just going to put up here, actually, I'll put it over here, x equals 1.0802. I get 265 if we round up. So I get x equals 0 0.265. Okay. <clears throat> um, yes, that is correct. Okay. So now, what does that mean? Well, who was the x value, right? Who was the x value? Oh, it was boron 10. So that means that boron 10, which we labeled as x, which was 0 0.265, and boron 11 was 1 minus x. So this should literally be 1 minus 0 0.265. 1 minus 0, 1 minus 0.265 is... 0 
Now they just want the percent abundances. So remember, we have the decimal percents, right? And we need to go into the actual percent. We just times by 100 or move the decimal over to the right twice. So this would turn into boron 10 would be 26.5% and boron 11 would be 73.5%. And those are your percent abundances for the two boron isotopes if it was in Turkey. Now, let's do the same thing for the United States. So same type of idea. This one's going to be a little bit more quick. So we got boron 10, we got boron 11. The masses for the isotopes will remain exactly the same. So 10.0129 AMU. This one is still 11.0931 AMU. We don't know the percent abundances, so this would be labeled as X. This would be 1 minus X. Once again, it does not matter which one you label X and which one you label 1 minus X. If you want, you could switch them. And then... Check the answers, right? We should get the same answer. Okay, now we will always multiply these two numbers, right? So it's the same thing as before. So this would be 10.0, this should be a point here, 10.0129x plus 11.0931 minus 11.0931x. This is the same exact idea as what we had to do before. Because when we times these, we should have gotten 11.0931 times 1 minus x. That's the distributive property. So it's 10.0129x plus this. And what is this should all equal? This should equal the average atomic mass. And this is for the U.S. now, right? The United States. And they told us that for the United States, it was 10.819. So I'm just going to put that over here, 10.819 AMU. So let's get down to it. So 10.0129x plus 11.0931 minus 11.0931x equals 10.819. Clean up your x's. This is a similar um, variable with this. And remember to put in your negative. So when I do 10.0129 minus 11.0931, we should get the same answer as before, right? Negative, yeah. Negative 1.0802x plus 11.0931 equals 10.819. Subtract the 11. This is where your numbers are going to change from before. So you get negative 1.0802x equals 10.819 minus 11.0931. And you get negative 0 0.274, divide out the negative 1.0802, divide out the negative 1.0802, and I'm going to put the x up top here again. So negative 0.274 divided by negative 1.0802, is we should get three sig figs, so 0 0.254 if we round it properly. So look at these. I mean, they're very, very similar for the x values. This one was just a 5 at the end. This one was the 4 at the end. So that means that for boron 10, who was x, this is just 0 0.254. For boron 11, which was 1 minus x, this is... 1 minus 0 0.254. So if I just do 1 minus 0 0.254, you get 0.746. And now we just got to turn it into the decimal percent. So you just multiply by 100 or move the decimal over twice to the right. So this would be 25.4% for boron 10. And this would be 74.6%. Hold on a second. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is fine. Oh. Oh yeah, this is good. I was gonna say. These are two different numbers. Sorry about that. I thought this one I thought this was a five, but this is really a six and this is a five. So they're not just to the thousandths place. Sorry about that. But anyway, these are your four answers. The two percent abundances, if they were from Turkey, the boron was from Turkey. These are the percent abundances if it was from the United States. So Long problem, because it secretly was two problems in one, but it's more practice for you guys. I hope this made sense. Please let me know in the comments if you did. I love hearing from you guys. I will respond back when I, when I can. And if you guys want more problems and you want to be the first to know when we drop our next set of problems, hit that subscribe button. We thank you for that. And I'll see you guys all in number 26. Bye-bye.